Hey everyone, welcome to First Nature Backland. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and tap the notification bell. Thanks. Thanks for coming to First Nature Backland. I got my brand new Ruger Max 9, newly added to the California handgun roster just a couple months ago, and we're shooting its first 200 rounds right here on this video at my favorite local indoor range. So I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers and to everyone who's watched my videos ever since I created this channel back in August of 2023 this year. I can't tell you how much that means. I also wanna mention that I am an Amazon affiliate. There are links in the description that will take you to the Amazon page of various things that I'm talking about in the videos. So if you see something that you like and you may wanna buy it, check out the description section and click on the link. It'll take you right to that page and you can make that purchase just like any other Amazon transaction. The only difference is Amazon sends me a commission for having sent you that way. So uh, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get to it. I bought this Ruger Max 9 from Mike, the owner of American Tactical Firearms in Citrus Heights, California. He's a licensed FFL private dealer, and he can pick up anything that you're looking for, firearms, ammo, accessories, even some safes. I picked up my vault slider safe from him a couple of years back. I also bought my big game rifle, the Savage 110 Apex Hunter and this new Ruger Max 9 CA. So if you're in California in the Sacramento County area and you're looking for a new resource to pick up your firearms from or, or any other gear, um, give Mike a call. I'll put a link in the description to his Facebook page. Um, he's a good guy by the book and he prices his stuff very competitively. So uh, thanks to Mike, the owner of American Tactical Firearms for ordering this Ruger Max 9 and getting it in so quickly. Okay, so we're back from the range with a brand new Ruger Max 9, newly added to the California handgun roster in August of this year of our lore 2023. It is a subcompact semi-automatic pistol. It holds 10 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. And she is a beauty. It has a tritium fiber optic sight that glows in the dark and it keeps light for a long time. When I opened up my safe this morning, and my safe sits in a closet, um, I opened up the safe, it's relatively dark, there's not a lot of light, and I don't have any lights in my safe, and as soon as I opened up the safe, I could see the, uh, the front sight glowing. Pistols in California have to have a loaded chamber indicator, so we're gonna put one round in this magazine, I'm gonna put this magazine in, and we're gonna put this round in the chamber and you'll see this bar here will pop up. There you go. So with that up, it indicates to the user that there is a round in the chamber, if you didn't already know. So uh, that's one of the requirements that pistols in California have to have. Not really that big of a deal uh, for manufacturers to provide that. So that's not a deal breaker for providing firearms to, um, to US citizens in California. Another thing that uh, firearms must have, this gun is not clear, is a magazine disconnect. So with the magazine in the pistol, I can pull this trigger. Now, let's cock it back again. I will remove the magazine from the firearm and now I will not be able to pull this trigger. So if there is a round in the chamber and you disconnect the magazine, that round cannot be fired. And as soon as I put the magazine back into the firearm, I can now pull the trigger. That's a magazine disconnect. So overall first impressions, I really like this Ruger Max 9. I'll have to test out some different types of ammo to see which one it likes the most, but so far I really like it. It's really comfortable in my hands. I have really big hands. My wife has really small hands. And when she held it, she said, oh, wow, it's really comfortable. So for a gun that can be shared between a couple, um, I think this one is a, is a pretty good option. Um, as far as longevity, time will just have to tell, but it's a Ruger. Ruger makes really good firearms. So first things first, if it is cocked back, which it currently is, you have to release the hammer. 
So this firearm is empty. I'm gonna release the hammer right now. Release that magazine. Push that little switch, lever, whatever you wanna call it down. Align the hole with that pin. And then just push it out. Move the slide forward. And there we go. So I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there is already some carbon buildup from this first trip at the range. So we'll get this all cleaned up. This is a fully contained spring, so when you get it out, it's not going to pop out at you. And then we just push up on the barrel, and there's the barrel. Good old hops number nine. After cleaning your gun, dab a little bit of that hops number nine on your neck and drive the ladies crazy. Love the smell of hops nine.